Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I want to welcome you to my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is Friday, August the 21st um, and I did not get a chance to post that I was going live. I did say on Wednesday I was going to be live at 1 o'clock today but my morning just got away from me. Um, I was out running errands and that. So here I am unannounced, um, or at least I didn't remind you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please say hello when you um, join in. Let me know where you're watching from. Please share my video, Sharing is Caring. It's how I reach more crafty friends. Um, and if you are watching the replay, please click that subscribe button if you haven't yet as well as the notification bell and if you enjoy my videos give them a thumbs up and if you're watching on Facebook and you haven't yet um, subscribe or liked my Facebook page please like and follow my page give me some hearts if you're enjoying my crafting okay so we are going to flip you around and we are going to get started so today is the third and final um, have a hoot card for this week. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed creating with this um, stamp set. All right, so we're gonna have to do some finagling here because I can see my edge of my Let's move you slightly this way. Okay, hold just one moment while I'm just trying to adjust things. There we go, and the sun is streaming in. It is a beautiful sunny day today here in southwestern Ontario. So we're gonna have a bit of shadowing let me just try to adjust my lighting here to see if it will help things along. Hello, Jeannie. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so um, before we get started, I want to remind you that um, because we are the 21st of August, we only have just over a week left um, for you to redeem those um, bonus days coupons that you earned in July. So please don't forget to get those orders in to redeem those coupons. Each coupon code is worth $6 off of your order. Um, it doesn't matter how big or how small your order is. And you can certainly... Um, use as many of those codes as you have earned on one order. So um, make sure that you get that done. I'd hate for you to lose out on that extra little savings. Okay, so have a hoot. This adorable stamp set um, we're going to be creating earlier this week. I'm just going to bring them in. We created this adorable Halloween card. And then this was Monday. This was Wednesday, the double fold gate card. And today I thought, well, let's just switch things up just a little bit. Hey, Di, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Today we are creating an adorable little um, hol um, Christmas card instead of Halloween because this stamp set has other images. So we don't, I didn't want to um, overwhelm you with all my Halloween stuff. Even though I have a couple more Halloween projects that I have created with this, I thought, you know what, let's share a Christmas. So this is Merry Christmas from Owl of Us. And this is a Z full. Um, well, thank you. That means a lot having somebody want to case what I have done. So this is a Z fold card and um, we are using today, 
Again, I'm using some more designer series paper. I have it right here. We're using the Tis the Season. Um, it's a six by six paper stack and this uh, pattern here is absolutely perfect for um, Christmas. I just love that deep uh, shaded spruce color. And then the other side is this nice um, holly leaf pattern. But yes, and then of course on page 62, is your have a hoot bundle the bundle is 69.25 you save 10 percent by purchasing it as a bundle uh, the stamp set itself is 31 dollars and then the peek a hoot dies are 46 dollars so um, if something comes with a set of dies i always do the bundle and get it um, that way because i know down the road i am going to be wanting to um, use those dies for something if not with the stamp set, I generally like to um, use them with something else as well, just to show the versatility. So, um, I don't know if you can see here, um, I used the Shimmery Crystal Effects to add to my little snowflakes to make them super cute. So I just love this little guy. It's so cute jumping off of the uh, branch. Okay, so, and I do apologize for that streaming sunlight. Um, it is what it is, and we're just going to deal with it. So, um, my all my measurements and product links will be found on my blog um, about 45 minutes after we're all done here. So we are 11 inches by uh, four and a quarter and then it is scored at two and goodness two and three quarters and five and a half and that creates that Z fold and then we've got our piece of whisper white for there and we have the two pieces to layer with this and then I've used the rectangle stitched dies, or are they the uh, stitched rectangle dies? I can never remember which way you say that. So let's get our little owls stamped on. So here is our um, image. And then of course we've got our two two greetings that I've paired together. So, let's just make sure that there is no kitty cat hair on here, and I see there's one right there. You just never know. My craft desk is Maya's favorite place to chill out. And she is, Maya is the long-haired calico cat who has, oh my goodness, so much fur. Okay. So, I think we're all inked up well. And I'm just going to bring this down a bit so that I'm a bit more over it. And I'm just going to center this right there on that rectangle. Okay, we're gonna leave this to dry for just a few moments, but in the meantime, we can stamp our Merry Christmas. And then from Owl of Us, I think this is so adorable. I believe I'll be sending out a few of these this year because it is so dang cute. I hope I'm down far enough. Yes, I am. When I am not right over top, it is a little tricky to see. All right. Move that to the side. Now let's bring in 
our bone folder. And with a Z fold, you're going to fold it in half first and burnish those edges. And then you're going to take and fold this panel here back the opposite way to create that Z fold. Okay. So now let's get our adhesive and get these things glued together. All right. And Maisie is upstairs today, so we will not have any barking right here. And I have to say right now, next Friday, I will not be live. I have a Stampin' Up! A, Le a Leaders um, Summit, it's called. It's a Leaders Conference that um, is online. So it uh, starts on Wednesday and runs till Saturday. And I don't think I trimmed this one down. No, I did not. Hold, please, before I get this. Here, I thought I was so clever the other day getting it. Everything all cut and prepped ahead of time, and I forgot, whoops, I forgot to trim that piece down. There we go. All right. There we go. Now we're going to adhere these panels to the card base. There's the one. And our second one. And then let's just go ahead and put our sentiment panel in as well. So that's all done. Okay, so because I put this in the center, this panel is going to go here, so you're not going to see that sentiment at all until you open it. So that's the trick for keeping it kind of hidden until. Okay, so our colors are dark real red, uh, light and dark crumb cake, the dark... Light Mango Melody, and the Light Cinnamon Cider, and then of course I've gone around my little um, owls with the uh, Light Pool Party. So, we're just gonna color in our branch first. And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek to a couple upcoming projects that I will be doing later with this, just a quick sneak peek with this stamp set to help entice you to order it from me. I have a sales goal. I'm trying to earn the Maui trip next year, fingers crossed, things 
will be um, better and we can travel in that again safely so I would love to earn my second incentive trip and take my awesome hubby on a fabulous vacation and as COVID has really thrown a wrench into everything I'm running out of time so I'm gonna have a few ordering incentives the next um, little bit so you'll have to stay tuned all right so because this is such a teeny tiny little area I am using the um, brush tip because oh my the little hats, the top of them are just very, very little. So you have to be so light and delicate when you are coloring that in. Okay. Now, and if you, you thought that the hats were tiny these little beaks are even smaller and I don't even know that you can see that one as well as their teeny tiny little feet okay so now I'm going to come in with my dark crumb and I'm going to do one owl at a time so that it doesn't dry out. And this to me is the daddy owl, so he's going to be a little darker. So I'm adding just a bit more of that dark here and there on him. I want his tummy light. Okay. Oh, I would love to be with you in Maui, but I do have quite a ways to go. Um, when my business was 99% in person, to now having, um, I've just had the three online classes so the attendance is nowhere near what I had for my in-person so I've got my work cut out for, for me I would have to say all right So this is the mummy owl. Right there is that little bit of hair. So she's a little bit lighter than, she's got less dark. <clears throat> and then the next one, we get smaller and smaller as we go, but as you can see, it's not too difficult to color in if you just are careful and take your time. This owl here is going to be completely light. This crazy little one. 
I look at this little owl and think of it as a hyper little two-year-old. <laughs> so yeah, in my mind anyway. <clears throat> All right, so now we are going to go around. I don't know if you guys noticed that I had posted photos before and after of my hair yesterday. And this morning when I was showering, even though my hair is still long, still goes down to my collarbone, um, I felt bold, I said to Brad. It felt like there was no hair there. It may have been long and scraggly, but it was still quite long. I could reach up behind and touch, easily grab the back of my hair. But it sure does feel good to get done. I think she cut, I couldn't tell by that pile, but it was actually like four inches, came off altogether. We are going to take the color lifter and, yes, the owls with their little Christmas hats on are adorable, Jeannie. I just love this owl set. It is so cute and so much fun to create with. I love the whimsical kind of animals, any kind of animals. I love them. So, you know I'm always going to purchase those sets. So I'm just going in between and around, lightening up that line. Let's just lighten up just a smidge more here. You could also do a mask and sponge around these guys to give the sky more, um, more blue. Just going around the tight areas here with the brush tip. All right, I think that is good. What do you guys think? Hello, Melissa. So there we have them. So let's glue this together on my other stitched rectangle. Centering it. All right, so. Now again, with a Z fold, you have to be very careful you do not apply your adhesive to the one half. So you're only going to apply it to this half. So when you flip it over, it's on the right hand side. And I always like to just draw a halfway line with my adhesive so that I know that I am not going past that. So then you're going to flip that over and center it. 
I tried a bunch of different shapes of dies to um, put with this card and I decided that I liked the rectangles the best. Making sure that I'm straight here. All right, and when you flip that over, you can see there is no adhesive there whatsoever. So then the last step, because you have to set this aside, is your shimmery crystal effects. And this um, can come out quite um, goopy. So what I like to do is over top of my, you can see it's coming out a bit there, over top of my silicone craft sheet. So I am just going to touch. My dots here in the snowflakes so that it's not um, a big blob but it just adds that extra whoop, come on it adds that extra little something to have that on your card I think Small. Nope, this one here needs. All right, so it's just a little bit. I'm afraid to go too much and have a big yucky blob, like I said. So as you can see, it just keeps wanting to come out. So, I'll put that lid on. So there you can see that I've got just that little bit here and there just to add to it. And once it's dry, you can come and add some more. So, these are today's cards. So let's bring in our other two. Well, this is um, going to dry. So this is this week's cards using this adorable set. All right, am I in camera view? Yes, I am. And oh, that sunshine. It doesn't want to, there, is that a little better? I do apologize. It is very, very bright. Let's see if that, does that, whoops, does that help at all? I'm not sure if it does or not. Okay, so. This week's ordering special is going to be, since two out of the three of my cards were the um, Halloween, everybody that orders the um, Have a Hoop bundle from me um, by Sunday night is going to get a iridescent pearl pack as a thank you gift from me. So... Um, you can order just the stamp set or you can order the bundle. I highly suggest the bundle so that you can um, cut out these cute little uh, guys. But um, you're going to get a package of iridescent pearls as a thank you. Now, two quick sneak peeks. I will be doing videos, but I just want to show you how much more you can do. So, this is with the rectangle tin. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Super cute. Okay, and then this um, is with the two little, uh, the love the lovebird owls with the uh, bit of uh, holly there, or mistletoe, whatever. So there's a quick sneak peek. That'll be a card coming up as well. So this is a fabulous, fabulous um, stamp set and uh, coordinating dies. So remember, Sunday night, 
um, anybody that places that order, if you're shopping my online store, please use my host code or contact me personally to place it, is going to get a package of the iridescent pearls as a thank you. Okay, so that is it for me. I am hoping to go live on YouTube this weekend. Um, Fingers crossed. Tomorrow I am helping my niece. She's uh, bought her first house um, with her girlfriend. So um, I'm helping tomorrow. I'm helping um, move in a little bit and uh, that. And Sunday we are going to look at a house with Damon and Allie. So we'll see how my weekend um, shapes up. Well, thank you, Melissa. Yeah, it is an awesome stamp set. Um, and then we've also got, I haven't done anything with this guy yet. He will be next. I like to make sure that I try to use everything in the stamp set and show you uh, projects with everything in the stamp set so that you can see how versatile it is. All right, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. And I will um, see you back here on Monday at, one, at uh, 10 a.m. All right. Have a uh, great day and weekend, guys. And I will see you later. Bye for now.